What's up guys, this is Jake and in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can set up and use the DSers app to automate your drop shipping experience with AliExpress. So I'm going to be showing you how you can import AliExpress products to your Shopify store using DSers and I'm also going to be showing you how you can fulfill orders automatically using the DSers app as well. But quickly before we get into the video, if you want to learn five ways to instantly increase your Shopify sales, go ahead and click the first link in the description to download my free ebook that condenses every Everything I've learned over the years of selling products online into five strategies that anyone can use to increase their sales right away. But with that said, let's go ahead and get started. In order to get started here in this store, I've already got the app we can see right here. But if you don't have the app, all you're going to have to do is come down here to apps, click on apps and sales channels and open up the Shopify app store. And we're going to wait for this to load up. And then all you're going to have to do is search DSers, it'll show up here. You click on it, and we can see I already have it installed, so it's just saying to open the app. So we just have to add the app right here, and you'll be good to go. So once you actually add the app, it's going to bring you to the pricing page, and you can just go ahead and get started with the free plan, and you can jump over to a paid plan later if you want, but you can start with the free one. So we'll just click on get started. And then the next thing we have to do is link our AliExpress account. So we're just going to click on link to AliExpress, bring us over here to AliExpress. So you just have to sign into your account right here. So I'm going to do that right now. So once you sign in, we just have to agree to the terms and click on authorize. And we can see that it's going to give us a new user's guide. But in this case, I'm just going to click on explore freely and learn later. And this is going to bring us into the home dashboard of the DSers app. So once we're inside the DSers app, the first thing we're going to take a look at is we're going to click on home up here. And what we're going to do is click on the Chrome extension right here. And we're just going to go ahead and add this in the Chrome. And what this is going to allow us to do is import products straight from the AliExpress site. So there is a way you can import products inside of the DSers app, but we also want to have the extension so that way we can import it from AliExpress as well. So now that we've done that, I'm going to go ahead and jump over here to AliExpress and we'll just type in something real quick. And we can see these products right here. So we can now see that our products on AliExpress look a bit different. We see the DS logo whenever we hover over and we can see the options right here showing up green for free shipping. So let's say I were to click on one of these products right here like this and open it up. We'll now be presented with the add to DSers button right here. So whenever you're browsing AliExpress and you open up a product, you can click on it and click on add the DSers right here. And we can see that the AliExpress product has been successfully imported. Now, another thing we can do is over here, we can actually import straight from this page as well. If you don't want to actually open up the product page, let's say we wanted to import this product right here. If we just click on the DS button right here, we can see that it's going to automatically import it for us straight from here, which is pretty convenient. So that's how we can import products from AliExpress. Now, if we come back over here to the DSers app and we go over here to the import list, this is where we can see where our products are that we imported. And the next thing we have to do is actually push them to Shopify. But before we do that, I want to show you how you can import products from inside the actual DSers app. So if we go over here to find suppliers, we can go ahead and search for different keywords here. So let's say I search for the same thing again. And we can see that we're now seeing different products here inside of the DSers app as well. We can sort it by where it ships from. So we have ships from anywhere right now. We could have China, United States, France, or United Kingdom, we can see in this case. And then over here, we can sort it by orders, newest, or price. So I'll sort this one by orders just to see what's selling the most in this particular case. And then as we look at these different products here, we can obviously see the prices, and we can see the orders, and we can see the order rating. So typically, when you're looking for different products and suppliers to sell from, you want to see a decent amount of orders because that's going to give you a little bit of trust knowing that other customers have ordered these products before and also seeing a good ratings so normally at least above like 4.5 stars is going to be pretty good so just like on aliexpress we can add this straight to the import list by clicking this button right here but let's say we want to actually open this up 
and we can see that once we open it up it just brings up the aliexpress link just like before so searching for things inside of DSers is pretty much the same as searching through aliexpress so we'll go ahead and add one more to the import list here so i'll just go ahead and add this one right here and now we can see that we've successfully imported that product now one thing that i want to show you that you can also do before we go ahead and actually push these to shopify is take a look at the supplier optimizer so let's say that we want to see what other suppliers are selling let's say this product since it's the most popular so i'll just click on supplier optimizer right here and we can see that it's going to open up a new tab and what it's going to do is put it in this link and it's going to search for a bunch of different suppliers that are selling this same product so we can see here now we have a bunch of different suppliers selling the same product which in this case is this collagen cream so we can see how each one of these sellers is pricing it and we can see their rating as well as well as some other information so in this case we could sort it by rating for example which is probably a good idea so we can see which ones have the highest rating we could also come in here and edit the shipping details so if there's a certain shipping method that you are looking for you could come in here and sort by that so let's say we were looking for aliexpress premium we could go ahead and sort by that as well so this is one way you can try and narrow down the best supplier to use for a particular product or to have some backup suppliers in case one supplier runs out so you could add some other suppliers to your import list as well so that's how you use the supplier optimizer it's pretty easy all you have to do is put in the product url link right here and go ahead and search so now that we know how to actually import products let's actually get them on our shopify store so i'm going to go ahead and click on import list right here and we're going to take a look at these three products so we're going to want to edit these products a little bit before we push them over to shopify so if you wanted to push them all immediately you could just click this button right here and click push the shopify but in this case we're going to come down here to this first product and i'm going to click on edit and it's going to bring up this editor right here and we can see that it's going to show the store we're pushing it to and we're going to have this really long title right here and most of the time the titles from aliexpress are going to be pretty much unreadable so you're pretty much never going to want to use them so in this case i could just change it to like just change it to something shorter that actually is legible right here down here you can choose whether you want to add it to particular collections you can choose the type of product it is the tags etc and you can always edit these again in shopify but you can always also edit it here and we come over here to variants so this is where we can choose the variants that we want to go ahead and push over to the store so we, we can see that this product has six different variants so we can see that it's pretty much just different sizes in this case so 10 grams all the way up to 50 grams and then we can see that there's two options with the box so if you wanted to use all of these variations we could just leave them all checked like this however if we wanted to only use one what we can do is i'm going to check them all really quick and then i'm going to uncheck let's say i just want to use the big container in the box and that's it so i'm going to uncheck that so then i'm going to click on remove skus over here because i don't want to use all these different variants so i'm just going to click on yes and now this is where we can come in here and actually edit the product info so we can see we have the sku here so you can edit this to a custom sku if you want and then we see we have the color right here you can edit this if you want and you can also edit this in shopify later and then this is where we can edit the price so we have the cost from aliexpress and we have the shipping cost so we can see the total cost is going to be five dollars 39 cents so this is where we're going to have our price value so this is what the price is going to actually be on our store so with the price to buy this is about five dollars let's say in this case we'll sell this for about twenty dollars and then the compare at value is this is just if you want to go ahead and put the product on sale so in this case i just won't i'll just leave it the same but if you wanted the product to be on sale you could go ahead and put that at like 29.99 it would show as a sale on your store and then we have the stock to shopify right here so this is by default the amount of stock that the aliexpress supplier has so you can just leave that as default and then we can come over here to the description and then we can see that we have the default specifications here that come with the aliexpress listing and as we can see it's pretty much a bunch of absolute gibberish so you would want to erase that and put in your own description now in this case i'm not going to actually 
type of description for the sake of the video. I'll just put some dummy text in there, but obviously you'll want to take some time to write a description, or you can use Shopify's new feature that automatically writes your descriptions using AI. And then we can see down here, we have the overview description. So this might be a bit more legible here. Now, obviously, you're not going to want to use the same exact description from AliExpress here. Maybe you want to use some of this stuff. Maybe you don't. That's going to be down to personal preference. You can come in here and edit this as you please. For the sake of brevity in this video, I'm not going to be editing the descriptions. I'm just showing you how to do it yourself. Then we can go over here to images and you can choose which images you want to use to push over to your store. So in this case, since we're, we were only using this variant, for example, we don't need the variants that sh don't show the 50 gram box. So I don't even want it to say that on there. So let's say we don't want to use certain images. We just uncheck them and let's say if there's other images on here that you do want to go ahead and import. You can go ahead and check them if you want. So you check which images you want to go ahead and import. Then we go to shipping info here. And you can go ahead and choose the country you want to ship to. And when you do, it's just going to give you some estimates for shipping. Just so you can get an idea of how long it's going to take and what it's going to cost you here. And once you've went ahead and edited all that, you just are going to click on save. And now we've edited this product here. So you would just go ahead and do the same for your other products. And then once you're ready to push them, you can either push them individually right here, or you can select here and click on push the Shopify up here. So now I'm going to go ahead and push this one to Shopify right now. And then we can set up our preferences here. So we can see that we manually edited the price. So we're not going to check this box. We're going to choose to continue selling when out of stock, and then we're going to choose to also publish to online store, and then we're going to click on push to Shopify. And we see that this product has been successfully pushed. And then if we come down here to my products, now we'll see that this product has been successfully pushed over to our store. And if I go ahead and go over to the store and I click on products, we'll see that these are the products that I had in here before and this is the product that we just pushed in and when I open it up we can see that we can come in here and we can edit it just like any normal Shopify product that we want to so we can edit information more if we want in here that's how you can import products it's pretty easy and you can see how this would save you a lot of time if you're selling like 50 100 products because you could literally just add all 50 in here edit them and then literally push all 50 to your store at once so it'd be very quick and easy but now i'm going to show you how you can actually fulfill orders using dsers all right so fulfilling orders is pretty straightforward so once you get an order it's going to show up in your shopify dashboard here under orders and as long as your order is for a product that was already imported through dsers everything's going to be automatically synced so if I open up this demo order that I made right here, we can see that this is using the DSers fulfillment service right here. So all we have to do is fulfill this item. So once this order has went through and it's a product that was synced with DSers, if we go into DSers and we come down here to open orders, we're going to see this order is showing up right here. So we can see that this is the same order so we can see order number 1002 we can see that this order number right here is 1002 so you can check to confirm that that's the same number but we can see that it is and we can see right here it's telling us that there's no shipping method applied so please select manually or you can go to settings to set up your favorite shipping method so if you're doing this in bulk and you have like 50 orders or something it might be quicker to automatically set up that within the settings down here but in this case i'm just going to be showing you how to do it manually so we're just going to open up the shipping methods and you can see that there's some different shipping methods in here and they vary between cost and estimated delivery date and tracking so you can go ahead and just choose which one you want to go ahead and use click on confirm and then once you do that you can just click on order now one thing you can do is if you have multiple orders you can click to fulfill a bunch of them at once. So if you have multiple orders and once you select all of the shipping methods, you're going to be able to place all of the orders at once in bulk. So that's what makes using this app for fulfillment convenient because you could have 50 orders in here, select the shipping for all of them, and then just click this. 
and then click place order to AliExpress. So I'm gonna click save and then we are going to place the order. So in this case, we could order via API or order via the Chrome extension. So in this case, we'll do it via the API and we just click on confirm. And as long as we are logged into our AliExpress account, the order is going to be successfully placed. So now it's going to go from a waiting order over here to a waiting payment. So once you have your order over here in a waiting payment, we can click on this here and we can click on make payment. And you can do this in bulk, just like you can with placing the actual order. So if we click on make payment, it's going to bring us over here to AliExpress and we can go ahead and choose to click pay now to fulfill this order. So all we have to do is click on pay now and you will be good to go. Now, since this is a demo order, it's a fake order with a fake address, I'm not gonna actually pay for it. So once we jump back over here, once you pay, this is just going to switch over to the awaiting shipment tab. So this is where you're going to see all of your orders that are awaiting shipment. And then once the orders are fulfilled, they're gonna be moved over here to awaiting fulfillment and then fulfilled. And then that's where you're going to be able to see all of your tracking information and all of that stuff right there. And then if any orders get canceled or failed, they're going to show up over here. So that's how you can fulfill orders using DSers. It's very simple and straightforward. And like I said, you can do everything in bulk, so you don't have to do it one product at a time. You can do it a bunch of different products at a time. So overall, that's how you can import products to your Shopify store and then fulfill orders from your Shopify store using the DSers app. So if you found this video helpful, be sure to leave it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel for more videos, and I'll see you guys in another one. Thanks for watching. See ya.